Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. In the last episode, apparently we got really badly injured. Oh, right. Let's uh, let's take care of that right now. And I've just had a soul-crushing event. <sighs> you know when you set yourself up a coffee, you put the coffee in the cup, you put your coffee mate in the cup, because I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff, you put your sugar in it, because sometimes, sometimes... I do actually like a uh, a bit of sugar in my, my coffee. Not often, but sometimes. You get ready, you get excited, you open your flask, because I finished work and I have my flask of coffee. Uh, flask of hot water, I should say, next to me. So, fuck going to the kettle when I have perfectly good water right next to me. And you open your flask, and a tiny little piss dribble of water falls into the cup. <sighs> The devastation will never truly be expressed. Anyway, enough about my tales of woe. Let's go back. Oh, hang on. No, we're getting to the right area. Uh, at least we got the handgun selected as well. And probably want to be careful with the handgun, actually. Because we've only got like five and a half mags left for it. Okay. Right, that's you gone, you sorry sack of shit. Now we need to go back to <coughs> uh, Dr. Jacob's room which is it because we got the key from the fish and in the heart should be excellent somewhere to climb just what we wanted i'm going to enjoy the dregs of coffee that i have poured out i really should invest in a coffee machine for the gaming room oh right we're <laughs> we are above or maybe i should just fill my flask up you know Probably more cost effective. Uh, we're above the botanical gardens. Which is a very nice room, I'm sure, but um, kind of looks a bit weird with the uh, strange textures there on, on the trees. But hey, let's not worry about that too much. Uh, I guess this is the only way we can go. We just got to keep leading ourselves round, round and round. Ah, here we go. Lovely. Right, do we have any demons from beyond the moon? You know, we haven't had a decent vending machine for a while. We really haven't. Uh, there's an elevator there. What we can do here, actually, I think. Right, we can actually unlock this door. But can we go back through? We can. Excellent. This pleases me greatly. Cool. That almost makes up for the soul-crushing lack of coffee in my cup. So, let's go down here and we... Oh, God. We're slowly making our way to the mining room. Well, now let's take out these bloody tentacles because we sure as hell don't want one of those up our uh, back pipe on the way by. I think that's the last thing Elliot wants right about now. Oh, no. Five magazines left. Not good. Five precious magazines left. Right, let's get rid of this last butt jabber. There we go. And with that, my friends, all was right with the world. And Elliot was free to carry on. Well, I'm not sure he wants to carry on. You know, maybe a, a tentacle up the arse uh, is probably not the worst thing that would have happened to him today. Considering the fact that he has two large tentacles uh, of his own sticking out of his back. Which is probably really uncomfortable, actually. Um, okay. Can we move this? We actually sort of can. And I'm guessing we need to move that from the inside. Because if we look up, there's some sort of track. Yeah, so we've got to climb across there. Of course we do. Right, let's just charge some more 45s. Dispense these one ticket at a time. There we go. There's your ticket to paradise, my friend. Now, oh, so, ah... Right, so I'm guessing we can go in here now. Alright. And there's still a door at the end of the hallway there that we're going to have to check out in a second. But we shall cover that bridge when we get to it. Come on, Elliot. Move your arse. Now, I don't know if he's, like, dripping as he's going across this uh, uh, grating here. But something's definitely coming off. I don't know what that's about. 
Oh. Yeah. Oh, the power mixer. Yes. This is actually a hidden, an optional weapon, I think. Oh, we can go up. I think it is. Let's have a little look, shall we? Uh, item. Is it? I can't remember this thing. Uh, it is. Right. Power mixer. PM24. Lightweight concrete mixer. Warning says, aim away from people when in use. You mean aim directly into the brain. Oh, God. I remember this thing. I think this thing's actually fairly gnarly. But... I, I, I think it's got issues. We're going to give it a go. Right. I feel like it's going a bit dead rising. But that's okay. That's not a bad thing, you know. Dead rising was pretty good. I think it's aged fairly poorly. But it's, you know, it's a good game. It was a good game, I think. Right, so we can go up there. Where are we? You unlocked it. We did. Well, that's good. Right. Okay, cool. So, that we know where that is. What about this one? You unlocked it. Excellent. Hey, we are the master of unlocking in this episode. Alright. Not bad. Now, where does this pipe leave? Uh, leave? I should say lead. Do I really want to go exploring along a pipe when I don't actually know <laughs> what we're doing and should probably be looking for the cure but you know we've got ages yet what's the worst that could happen my dear friends apart from you know horrible death that would be pretty bad uh, Elliot is also awful to control on these things he really is Ooh, hello Maybe the power mixer is actually the hidden secret weapon that I've heard so much about. And by so much, not really that much. Now, I'm sure what I've heard is there's some kind of like plasma weapon or something. But I think you have to unlock it. There's a lot of misinformation on this game. Because there are differences between the two versions. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. So where does this lead? Ah, hello. Well, I mean, uh, that was fucking pointless. But hey, I didn't make the game, man. All right. Well, I mean, I I guess it's a shortcut if you really give a shit that much? I mean, this lab area, contrary to what I was thinking to start with, really isn't that long, I suppose. Maybe they just wanted to have another area to kind of justify these silly mechanics. I mean, is, is that fair? Are these mechanics silly? Uh, they're not fun. But, interestingly enough, um... This game had a tiny development team. And, and, if dogs and Elliot's voices sound familiar, there's a reason for that. Do you remember, uh, I think back in one of the earlier episodes, I said that Sonic and, uh, dogs and Elliot kind of look like Sonic and Tails. Well, it goes deeper than that, my friends. Um, Elliot, who kind of looks like Sonic through color scheme is voiced by the same guy that voiced Sonic the Hedgehog uh, I couldn't believe that until I actually look, looked that up and yeah that's true and Dogs who is who looks like Tails you know his color scheme he's voiced by the same person that voices Dr. Robotnik my little mind almost exploded when I read this. Uh, well, I guess maybe we can't. We can't move that. But that's okay, because we can just climb on the pipe. Elliot likes pipe, apparently. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, I was very surprised to see that. 
There's a lot of references from other games in this as well. Like, uh, you have... Well, actually, there's only one other. That stamp collection mission we had to do earlier, uh, the Pen Pen Rally, Stamp Rally, is actually referencing another Dreamcast game. In fact, those characters are all from Pen Pen Racing, uh, which was a strange Dreamcast racing game that I've never played. Elliot, please answer me. Janine, uh, can you hear me? Janine? Merry Christmas, old Santa. What's wrong with Elliot? Well, it's, it's a long story. He's infected by the monster cell. <gasps> Will he survive? It depends. I've got to find the right medicine. If not, I may have to finish him off myself. Oh, I see. My prayers are with you. Well, thank you for your prayers. I'm sure they will do precisely fucking nothing for us. Okay, alright, Elliot. You used the mine key. Ooh, boss music. Oh, we have a blob monster. Well, at least we don't have to worry about getting infected. Because, you know, about that. Well, I mean, yeah, uh-huh. Yep, yeah, I see. Good stuff. This thing <laughs> really ain't up to much, is it? Alright, let's give dogs a go, shall we? Now, I don't think dogs is... Uh, really equipped? Oh, God, we're injured. There we go. Gatling gun seems to be... You know the Gatling gun? It's strength. Is it seems to... Oh, God. It seems to hold the enemies in place. It's got really good stun damage. Yeah, so Pen Pen Racing uh, on the Dreamcast is like a cartoony racing game where you play as like these, well, those characters you saw in the Stamp Rally. Um, it's as bizarre as it sounds, and I've never played it. So I can't really comment on it. Um, now, the company that actually made this game only made one other game, and it's called Ill Bleed, I believe, or something like that, which is another Dreamcast game, and apparently... It's a little bit, oh god, like a David Cage-esque game. So think Beyond Human, uh, Heavy Rain, that kind of thing. So maybe we'll look that up. One great thing about the Gatling Gun is it doesn't have to reload. Now, unfortunately, it does start gravitating to the top like a dickhead. And you did not touch me. You cannot tell me that bullshit, sir. You did not touch me. How very dare you. Alright, uh, dogs. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit awkward. You know, when in doubt... Get... Okay, this is going poorly. We're actually stunlocked here. This is bad. Uh, Elliot, can you... Move with the quickness? You actually can move with the quickness. See, here's the thing. Dogs is so slow. Like, even on bosses, he's really hard to use. Which is annoying. Right. Okay. Uh, let's change to dogs. Weapons. Let's have a little look in the old toolkit here, shall we? Yeah, Railgun. Uh-huh. Oh, we do have some ammo for the launcher. Wow, this is rather excellent. Come on. Ooh, God, he doesn't like that. Yeah, he doesn't like that. I guess dog's got the last laugh here. Hey, buddy. Big pile of goop. Go fuck yourself. Right, let's have a large hassy. Uh, dogs, could you drink the hassy, please? The monster was holding something. It certainly was. The medical lab key. Well, that's good, but let's uh, cure your condition first. Your condition can only be cured by a couple of large hassies. There we go. Uh, let's go for another one. Lovely. How's that looking? 
Yeah, top that off with a small one. All right, dogs, you're going to need a radioactive piss in a minute yourself, I reckon. Uh, let's put the launcher back. Grab your Gatling gun back out. Oh, shit. I should have given you a small hassie as well. Just to top off, you know. Why not? We're carting like hundreds of these things around in our back pocket. Might as well use them. Right, okay. Well, that's close enough. Cool. So there was more of these like pro gelatinous protein things. Look at the way he runs. His animation is really weird actually, but hey, let's not worry about that too much. So Ill Bleed, yeah. Um, it's a game that I don't possess, but I think I'm going to have to have a look at that because it definitely caught my attention. Now, we could take the shortcut back, but I don't think we really need to. Uh, ooh, bollocks. And I totally forgot we could fall off that. Luckily, we had those life hooks. <laughs> Whoops. Good thing those life hooks are automatic as well. Otherwise, that could have been really freaking awkward. <sighs> uh, careful, because I think we've only got one left. Which is fine, you know. As long as we don't come down with, like, fucking biffitis and walk off the edge again. Jesus, that was embarrassing. Yeah, definitely going to have to have a look at that. You know, the Dreamcast actually has some really cool games that I've never played. Um, we'll, we'll change that. And we'll play through uh, quite a lot of them together, hopefully. Now, the Dreamcast library wasn't massive. Um, but there are, some, there are some gems there. Right. So, that's the mining area. Now, we... Yes, there we go. The medical lab key. Brilliant. Now, let's have a little squeeze in here, shall we? Uh, there is a container labelled as V-Act. It says that it will reverse the effects of the vector slime. Uh, good. Do you want... I think we said no. So, as you can see, um, getting a dip in that stuff is totally optional. Uh, half an hour is more than enough, considering I don't think I did it in an optimal way. <laughs> How you feeling, buddy? That's better. Are, are, are you uh, all right? I'm fine now. I, I'm okay. You don't look okay. You look better. I thought I'd have to kill you. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, cheers, buddy. You're one of the good ones. Right, we could be Elliot now. Um, I like the way he's still mutated just a little bit. He doesn't instantly get completely cured. I actually think that's quite a cool little touch. Okay, so now we're not mutated anymore. This is a good thing. Let's put a fresh magazine in there. Lovely. Ah, much better. Now, hopefully, we have everything we need to go back up. I don't think there's anything else we need to do in the mining facility. We've pretty much been in all of these rooms. Um, let's go back and see if we can see Janine. Although, I don't think this is the... This is kind of the way back, I think. Yeah, this is the way back. Now, we could take that... No, we can't take that shortcut anymore. Because uh, Elliot can't climb the pipes anymore. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. There's quite enough out of you, sir. Ooh, God, I forgot we had this equipped. Bloody hell. Yeah, this will tear you a new ass. Although... Yeah, not that good. It's kind of... You know, a lot of the high damage close range weapons or melee weapons in this game kind of sound good but they're let down by a horribly slow animation which unfortunately does render these uh, fun weapons useless and it's a shame now if we try and climb these again I'm pretty sure yeah we can't anymore so we're stuck to the normal human ways of traveling rich is what it is, I suppose. Uh, now, I think we also went everywhere. We haven't missed anything. Uh, at least as far as I'm aware. Do we now have the code that we need? To get 
upstairs. Yeah, let's go back the way we came. This is where... Uh, you know what? We, we can... Yeah, we can, we can sort this out. This is actually not where we want to be, but... Now these two areas are joined up in a fashion, we can just skip past them. Because that's how we roll. Alright, not bad. I guess that is, in a way, a shortcut. I don't think it's a very efficient shortcut. Elliot, can you stop swimming forwards, please? Uh, I think you still have a smooth brain. Still soft in the head. Maybe that's an unfortunate side effect. And we've gone down the wrong corridor, but that's fine. Oh, God. I really need to change this weapon. Yeah, you can just see how slow this weapon is. It's just, it's no good. I don't know why they made a lot of the powerful, fun melee weapons too slow to be useful. It's a shame, to be sure. But that's fine. It doesn't matter too much because the stun rod's cool anyway. Even if in certain scenarios it does bring the old Dreamcast screaming to its knees. Um, now, let's head through this door. Hey, friend. There we go. This is the door we wanted to go through. Now, if we could actually kill you properly, lovely. Stick this up your ass, mate. You'd be singing then, I'll tell you that. Turn your fucking colon inside out. Oof. Burning flesh. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, we still haven't triggered any kind of uh, cutscene with Janine, so I'm assuming that there's still something that we haven't done. But we have got quite a lot of keys. So, uh, I'm hoping we've got the key we need. I know what they say about assuming. It'll make an ass out of you. Dude, look, if you're going to fight me, we've been over this. Fight me over here, where I can k take all of your money. Because I'm like that, you know? Come on. There we go. Yeah, you can jump into the wall all you like. It's not going to save you. Burst. Burst. Give me your money. Gold. Ah, lovely. So satisfying. I do, you know, I, I have a love-hate with it. You know, the way the money sprays out of every orifice. It's cool. I like it. it they feel like pinatas or some shit. But it can get annoying when, when oh, fuck. Wrong room. Ah, God damn it. And because we went into the wrong room, we're going to have to fight this guy again. Because money. If he was a lesser dude, then I would say Sodom. We won't bother. But these guys are just worth so much money to us. It's kind of silly to not fight them. Ah, and look. He even got stuck in a corner for me. You bloody soft in the head, smooth brain. Get fucked. Really? You want some more of this? Well, that's fine. I can do this all day, me brother. Right, nice. Now he's soft in the head. You don't even have a head. I guess you are the softest in the head. Softer than me. At least my brain's attached. Even if it is rather purple and off-putting. Elliot, Jesus, boy. You're just, you're just nasty to look at. I, mean, I don't know what else to tell you, to be honest. Uh, let's go in through here. Now, do we have the key? Uh, we do not have the key. Ass. Big flaming arseholes. One second, guys. I will endeavor to find out where the key is. And we're back, guys. Uh, yeah, there was one room that I actually totally forgot about, and it's the room with the dog. Um, remember, we couldn't do anything with the pooch because he was terrified of us. Understandably so, let's be fair. Uh, there was quite a lot of monsters and things running around in here um, when last we entered this place. And Elliot, let's be fair, was not exactly uh, looking fresh himself. So, but now, uh, now we're back to, no well, some kind of normality. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's go see what the dog has for us. 
It likes you. There's something hidden in the collar. You got the clone room key. Well, that's good. Um, I think the clone room is the room that we actually need to get to. Uh, which is the key that we need, I think. Well, let's kick an ass or two on the way here. Because I'm not one to look a bag of money in the face. Look at his head rolling across the floor. Lil. Uh, another fact about this game as well that I found doing some digging. Um, it actually came out an entire week before the Dreamcast dropped. Uh, it preceded the launch of the Dreamcast by two weeks. Uh, no, by a week, sorry. So this game was actually on game shop shelves before you could buy the console. Uh, I don't know why Activision did that. Did they think the game was that shit that it wouldn't sell? Uh, maybe, but why would you buy the game if you couldn't own the con? I mean, as a kid, if I had the money, I would have. And I would have studied the game and read every bit of information on that disc. And I would have smelt the manual and, and tasted the plastic. Anyway, I would have probably done it if I had the money. Um, because I am a nerd. But it's very strange. Now, there's, I think the Sega Saturn did this as well. I'm pretty sure the Sega Saturn had the opposite uh, kind of launch where it dropped when most of the games weren't ready which uh, you know a lot of people always say oh Sega uh, oh, they, they complain about uh, Sony uh, killing Nint uh, Sega off you know oh it's the PlayStation 2's fault and yeah I mean that helped for sure uh, the Dreamcast wasn't perfect but the trouble is, Sega could never recover from the mistake of the Saturn and the um, Mega Drive, or Genesis, depending on where you're coming from. Sega, you know, who killed Sega? Sega killed Sega. They were shit at business. They were terrible. I mean, they kept bringing out f um, tons and tons of failed uh, hardware. They brought out the... the uh, Sega CD for the, or the Mega CD which was a really cool concept uh, it didn't it, it did it, it was okay it wasn't a straight up failure it kind of bombed but it wasn't as miserable as it could have been and then they decided to bring out the 32x because they wanted a next generation system and whilst they bearing in mind guys these add-ons, these cost money to develop. We're not talking a couple of quid here. These cost millions and millions of pounds in R&D and research to develop these, these things. And this, the, especially the 32X failed miserably. And um, on top of that, between the 32X and the bloody Sega Saturn coming out, there was another add-on or, or another system um, that Sega were, were gearing up to bring out called the Neptune. And then there was another system called Pluto that they were working on. You know, what the fuck? Talk about bleeding money out of the ass. And how many developers were burnt um, producing these systems? Lots. <laughs> so by the time the Dreamcast rolled around, and they actually got it right and put out a good machine. It was too late. Nobody trusted them. And the PlayStation 2 was just a juggernaut that, that could not be stopped. Um, if, if Sega had just maybe brought out the Mega CD and not bothered with the 32X and, you know, saved some fucking money and put a little bit more into the Saturn and supported the Saturn properly and then brought out the Dreamcast uh, a year or so extra down the line and put a bit more into the Dreamcast? Could it have been different? Maybe, because the consumer would not have lost um, uh, interest and, uh, what, what would you call it? Interest and respect, I suppose, trust in the brand. Sega died 
because they killed their own brand. And this was uh, something that I was getting into uh, on Facebook the other day. Uh, and somebody else could not see it. Somebody else could not see it. One, if you kill your brand and your brand is no longer trusted, it's over. Game over, man. Anyway, on that note, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to go through that door, hopefully. Uh, and get out of the lab because, man, this lab. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.